Hello everybody. It's been almost two months since we started chats with Pastor Nancy and uh, uh, at this time things are beginning to change and uh, so I'm hoping for the best and uh, hope that you are still praying that God will um, keep things um, where we can worship, where we can share, and where we can continue to minister in His name um, in new ways and in old. I'd like to share a little scripture with you. Psalm 57 verse 1. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. For in you my soul takes refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. <clears throat> I don't know that the disaster's passed, um, but what I do know is that God will be with us and that we really can rest in Him. And I hope that that has been happening in your life. Um, we are going to try something new. We are in a time of new things, experimental things, and uh, hopefully some things that will um, help others come to know Jesus or come to know him better. So for our local church, this message uh, really is specifically for our local church, but if it helps anyone else that's out in the broader world, um, that would just be icing on the cake. Um, this Sunday, May 31st, we are going to attempt a soft, safe reopening. How we're going to do that is by um, trying a method called drive-in church. It will be at 11 o'clock in the morning. If it rains, it's canceled. But if the weather cooperates, at 11 o'clock, we hope people will arrive and there will be parking attendants who will park your cars. For those of you who have been coming to church a long time, you probably won't get to park in your normal parking place because we're going to have to redo the parking lot a little bit so that we maintain uh, safe distances between households. Um, we also want to be um, very clear, and, and I really want you to listen to me here. I want you to really understand if you don't feel safe yet, if you are immunocompromised, or if you know yourself well enough to know you can't social distance, maybe you should stay home. We will continue to post the sermon and the service every week. Only now with us gathering on Sunday morning, uh, we will videotype it at that time and then we hope to have it posted by 2.30 or 3 every Sunday. So I hope that will work for you because I don't want anybody to feel pressured or obligated. I want you to come to worship feeling safe, and uh, because if you come feeling safe, then you'll be free to worship. If you come with worry on your mind, it will make it more difficult to do that. So worship from the safety of your home if that's what you need to do right now. Um, once again, if it rains, there won't be drive-in church. We will just post the sermon that afternoon or probably even around as quick as possible. But it will be Sunday. When you pull into the parking lot, you will be directed to a parking spot. Um, everything, the music, the announcements, the sermon, everything will be from under the porch of the church. And uh, that way you can sit in your cars and listen. We will use the sound systems. And I'm sure Jay and I can get it loud enough for anybody out there. And maybe even across the field. Um, but uh, if you would like, you can certainly bring a lawn chair and there will be some designated air safe areas for you to place your lawn chairs or you may place them right beside your car. We just ask that you continue that six foot social distancing. Um, there will be two tables set up and on those tables will be a box uh, that you can drop your offering or tithes into. On those tables will also be um, hand sanitizer. 
on those tables will be um, bulletins. How we're going to do the bulletins so that they will be safe is one person will wash up, put on a mask, glove up, and prepare the bulletins. Then we will fan them out on the tables so you can take one safely and know that someone who uh, was as clean as can be uh, put them there for you. Um, let's see. Um, there will also be some masks on those tables. Um, the county and the CDC is still saying that if you are in a situation where you are around people, that it is still best to wear a mask. So if you would like to do that, uh, you may bring your own. We will have a few available that ha were donated to the church, and we're most appreciative of that. And uh, But it wouldn't be enough for everybody. So if you have a mask and would like to wear it, please bring your own mask. Um, at this time, um, because of inability to clean between people and to really uh, sanitize between people, the church will not be open. Uh, the, hopefully, really quickly, we can reopen the bathrooms, but for this Sunday, we pro I promise, I commit to keeping the service really short and, uh, so that hopefully you won't need the bathroom. Now, if there's an emergency, there's an emergency and you can get in the bathroom. But we really want to stress to do your business before you come and we'll keep it short. Um, hopefully that will change really soon. As for use of the kitchen, the nursery, the sanctuary, and classrooms, we're not going to open those for a while yet. So they won't be open to um, for use. We won't be, like we usually do, making our big pot of coffee for everybody to share. We won't be doing those things. If you would like coffee or pop or water or popcorn or whatever you want for drive-in church, you can bring that from home. Feel free. Um, I would like to ask that you really be in prayer for this Sunday. Um, like I say, we're really excited about it. The praise team has already rehearsed and uh, had a great worship time with God in our rehearsal and a great prayer time. I hope that you're doing the same. And I just look so forward to seeing you um, in person again, even if it is from six feet away. I just want to say I really um, love the church, the broader church, the local church, the church of Jesus Christ, and I'm excited that we um, in safe ways can begin to come together again. May the Lord be with you for the rest of this week, and for those of you who are afar, um, I just uh, pray that the Lord will begin to uh, make a way for you to also be in your local context, is worship in your local context, and uh, may uh, he just bless you abundantly. Again, we will continue to uh, post by video our services, sermons, and I think I would like to continue some chats with Nancy. Uh, blessings to you. May the Lord be with you. I'd, I'd like to pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today and uh, we just give you thanks. Uh, you have uh, been watching over people. Uh, Lord, there are some that do have this disease and they're sick and just heard about more of them yesterday that are in our uh, Nazarene tribe here in the Kansas City area. And we just pray that you would touch their bodies and bring healing. We ask, Lord, that you, those who have not contracted this disease yet that you would protect them father we do pray that you would give us wisdom and guidance in the days ahead lord help us to be loving and kind with our words and our deeds help us lord to think of the other people uh keeping them safe and and what they need and father we just thank you that we have uh the ability to uh be jesus to other people 
Father, continue by the power of your Holy Spirit to help us do that. And Lord, as we gather this Pentecost, we do ask that your Spirit would fall upon us like fire in our souls. Father, may we proclaim Jesus Christ to everyone we meet. And may they be able to understand it like that day, that special day of Pentecost. Lord, you are good. Your mercy endures forever. We love you and we really do rest in the shadow of your wings and know that you will be with us no matter what happens. You are great and greatly to be praised. And we pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a great day.